pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good, Good morning, morning. <laughs> I'm Catherine. And I'm Johan. And welcome to your Friday video morning announcements. Sadie Hawkins is on December 16th from 8 to 11 p.m. The theme is a dance through the decades, so make sure you dress up as a couple, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, one of the 1900 decades. And uh, make sure you buy your ticket, and I want everybody to be there. And it's a girls ask guys dance, so that means ladies. If you've ever had a crush on a guy, now's the chance to take him to a dance. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> okay, seniors, we have a fundraiser night for our grad party next Tuesday, December 5th, from 5 through 9 at Red Robins, the one by the Vancouver Mall. So 20% of what they make in that time period is going to our grad party, so make sure to stop by and buy yourself a burger. Peace, passion, and, and positivity, positivity heritage. heritage. And up next, we have an interesting interview segment about line cutting. <laughs> Why are you cutting me, man? Bruh, I just want some food. Calm down. Whatever, man. Screw this. How often do you feel that you get cut? Like, every day, someone's always just, like, walking past or just stands in line and has a conversation. Uh, do you feel that it needs to be stopped? Yeah. Which lunch line would you say is the most frequently cut by others? Uh, the after school lunch line, because it's basically just a big old mass of people. Stand. Even with uh, even with a teacher there present watching everyone, do you f still feel that everyone still cuts? All the time. There's like no line at all. Do you feel that the teacher on duty should be more uh, accountable for people cutting and should straighten them out? I do. I think that she should make us all go into a single file line so we can just walk right in. Thank you. Would you say you're an avid cutter? A what? An avid cutter. Oh, no, I don't. No. How often do you see others cut? Uh, every day. Do you feel that there should be a punishment towards them? Um, if they get caught enough times, yeah. Like, if they don't do it a lot. I mean, if they do it a lot, yeah. to the student store November 27th through December 19th and try out our new raspberry white chocolate latte. Available for a limited time only and it costs $2.50. Buy one, maybe two, you won't regret it. I'm Uncle Terris, aka Big Mike, and I'm Amy Garrison and this is Heritage Athletics presented by Alpha. Next Friday our girls and boys basketball squad, squad will be hosting the Mountain View Thunder for our first spirit game. The first 20 people that show up to the girls basketball game at 5.30 We'll get Dr. Seuss purple and white ties. And for the first 20 people that show up to the boys' basketball game, they will be receiving these fly ties. Wear it any way you want. Belt, tie, headband, whatever floats your boat. Already, already. And that concludes our first Heritage Athletics show. We'll see you tonight as we play Fort Vancouver. We will be taking a 167 and a half hour break. See you next week. Go T-Wolves! Woo! DECA members, Area 9 is around the corner. Sign up for your event. You don't want to miss out on this one-time event. Come to room 236 and get signed up. FBLA would like to thank all the second period classes that participated in our Kenya Orphanage Drive. We collected 1,304 items overall. The winning class donated 99 items to send to Kenya. Congratulations to Ms. Anderson's Creative Movement class, the winners of the class competition.